Let us bow in prayer. Our gracious God and Father, we thank you for this day to gather to worship together and to proclaim your name worthy above all other names. Today, as we celebrate the presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives, we also ask you to continue to allow him to change us and transform us as we make our mortal journeys through this life. We ask you to strengthen our mortal bodies that we might do the work of your kingdom. We ask you, Lord God, to teach us how to think right, change our minds, that we will see the world through your eyes and through your word to us. Draw us more intimately to you by your Holy Spirit, that we might be closer and more directed and empowered by you. Lord Jesus, we thank you for who you are and what you have done, and we ask you to continue to teach us this day, even as you taught your disciples, when you taught them to pray these words. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. Our gospel reading comes from the gospel according to Mark, chapter 16, verses 14 through 19. Later, Jesus appeared to the eleven disciples themselves as they were reclining at the table, and he reprimanded them for their unbelief and hardness of heart, because they had not believed those who had seen him after he had risen from the dead. And he said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. And the one who has believed and has been baptized will be saved, but the one who has not believed will be condemned. These things will accompany those who have believed in my name. They will cast out demons, they will speak with new tongues, they will pick up serpents, and if they drink any deadly poison, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. So then, when the Lord Jesus had spoken to them, he was received up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God. And they went out and preached everywhere while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word by the signs that followed. Our epistle reading comes from Paul's letter to the church at Rome, chapter 13, verses 12 through 14. The night is almost gone and the day is near. Therefore, let's rid ourselves of the deeds of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let's behave properly as in the day, not in carousing and drunkenness, not in sexual promiscuity and debauchery, not in strife and jealousy, but put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh in regard to its lusts. Let us pray. We ask you, God, to be with us as we listen to your voice. May we grow in our faith this day. In your name we pray. 